Louise. Um, this is my first blog for all you Norwich mentalists. Um, so I'm here in my new flat in London. I'm sorry that I haven't got in touch already, but I've been here 10 days and it's taken a week for the broadband people to come and install my line. So um, I'm going to be uploading this later and sending you my first vlog um, and now I'm going to show you around my new apartment um, we're in the bedroom this is my favourite room because it's warm and it's the most finished of all the rooms and um, it's where I sleep um, okay I'm going to show you around So that's my computer and where I'm going to be sending you these messages. Um, okay, my new Hoover. Helen, I'm Hoovering. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, my bed. Okay, so we're coming through into the hallway. And then that's the bathroom. Um, okay, I've got a bath, everybody. I have a bath and a shower which is brilliant, so I'm going to have a long bath. So um, I've got the toilet, sink, and matching blue stripey uh, shower curtain and mat. Yes. Um, oh, this is, uh, this came with the flat. It's one of them. And you got the side, oops, which um, shows all your blackheads so you can squeeze them and stuff. And then you got the side where you look alright. Always wanted one of these. Hi! Okay, I'm going to take you into the hallway. And that's where Ash eats. Uh, oh, this, this. Okay, I found this in one of my boxes that I was unpacking from home home. <laughs> Okay, so that's the, um, the front door, and we've got the fridge here, and then we've got, um, this is the lounge, so come through into the lounge, and I've got some of Granny's furniture here, the nice stuff is Granny's, you've got the table, the chairs, that's my old trusty green sofa, many nights slept on that, um, that's Granny's furniture, um, there was quite a lot in here when I arrived, because... Um, it was an ex-rental place, and the landlord was like, yeah, I've got some stuff you can keep if you want. Like that. That bookcase, that bookcase, and that bookcase. Not ideal, kind of Ikea-ish, but you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> that was mine. Oh, this came with the flat, though. He was like, yeah, we've got this stuff as well. You know, you can um, offer me a price for some of the stuff in the apartment, and I was like, how much for this fish tank? Is that how much you're going to give? I was like, 15 quid. So I was like, alright, as so I got a new um, fish tank for 15 pounds. There's Bob. Alright, Bob. Ah, Daisy. <laughs> um, so I've got two fish tanks now. There we go. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, okay, a few boxes. Haven't quite finished packing yet. Um, my TV and my GameCube. Been using that far too much since I got here. Uh, okay, this is Granny's as well. Look, it looks like a proper house. I've um, put all her chintz out that she left me. And I used to want to play with these when I was little. <laughs> um, okay, so then we come through into the kitchen. And it's not as nice as the rest of the house, admittedly. Um, as soon as I get a job, I'm going to rip all this out and put nice, nice units in. I've got a washing machine, so that's cool. There's my oven, the rest of the kitchen. So, then we come back out into the lounge. This makes up for the crappy kitchen. Check out my garden. That is mine. Isn't it ace? Yeah. And, got a pond. 
I'm a grown up with a pump. <laughs> Um, and look at that, how beautiful the sun. So you've all got to come down and we can have barbecues in the summer and lots of parties and a proper mash up. And I've got pots. So that's my bedroom window through there that I was in to be in with. And that's it. Okay, so, um, why is that? How do you make it? Yeah. Okay, um, so that's the flat, and I want you all to come soon. Okay, I'll send you another vlog soon. Bye! Okay, so I um, forgot to show you the last uh, exciting thing about my new flat, and that is, let me introduce to you Mr. Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo. Where are you? Okay, um... Whenever I get some visitors, I'm going to send them in here and say, go and meet my dog. Uh, yeah, they'll be like, what? Who's going to meet my dog? And then you, um, wash your hands, so you come in, use the toilet. Hands up, hands up, okay? And then what you need to do, you need to pump this little fellow's head and check this out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, uh, these two TV do. What does this look like, guys? Wash my hands, please. Foaming at the mouth. Yeah, that's disgusting. Jackass, doggy style. <laughs> so I forgot to tell you all and also to thank Helen very much for Scooby Doo. This was from her. Thanks a lot, Helen. I showed you around my flat in the last uh, thing. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I just wanted to mention briefly um, a little bit about Joel and say that I haven't just moved down here because of him and our situation. Um, partly it was because of that and I um, came down with the hope of physically making distance between us and um, getting on with my life and being independent. Um, we were together for a long time, it was nearly two years and you know I did love the guy a lot and um, the saddest thing about it is just to feel like I've lost one of my best friends. But I don't want to lose the rest of you and um, I still adore him and I, you know, I will always have a place for him inside um, but I want you to know honestly that I am feeling alright and I'm even feeling pretty happy I had a great week with Lizzie last week when I moved down I feel strong and I feel independent and um, pretty excited as well about being here and having my own place and starting a new life. Um, you don't always get that opportunity and um, it's great. You've got to risk your heart to feel love. And now I've felt a certain sort of love, I would be glad to risk my heart again. So don't feel like I'm a problem area. Call me anytime and come and have fun with me. 
I'm still pretty cool. Um, even though it hurt, that's what breakups are, and I realise that now. Um, there's plenty more fish in the sea, <laughs> um, but I don't want any um, any of that clichedness. I'm really enjoying being me. So, I just wanted you to know that, and I love you very much, and so my love to Joel, and um, I hope you've enjoyed your lesson in love. <laughs> Take care guys, bye! I have decided to show you my special ability. Some people say it's kind of superhuman. Um, I just call it the dolphin spit. Here we go. Another go? Mm -hmm. Watch out for the three three mark. <laughs> okay, I'm going to practice and I'll show you it again when it's better. Hi, um, my name's Louise Paxton and um, I'm making this videotape to record, um, document um, an event which um, first started two nights ago. It's Thursday night tonight um, and on Tuesday night um, an intruder came to my house. Um, I was woken up by the sound of a rustling, it was like a scraping noise, outside of my bedroom window. And I, it stopped, so I didn't really think anything of it. Um, I lay there for a while and then I came through into the kitchen in here to make a drink. And um, I must have walked right past him. Because on my way back to the bedroom, um, there was a man that stood. Uh, I'll show you. Um, there was um, a man that stood at my doorway here, leaning against the pane of the window. And um, I rang the police on Tuesday night. And I told them that there was somebody um, at my door and um, I'd asked him who he was and what he wanted and hadn't, he hadn't said anything. Um, they said that they couldn't come unless he posed an immediate threat and uh, I said, well, he's at my door and um, they, they asked me if he was still at my door and when I looked, he'd gone. So, um, they wouldn't even send anybody out just to check. Just to look around to see if, um, if there was anyone there. So, um, uh, they said to call again if it happened again. And um, then again, on Wednesday night, last night, um, I heard the noise again. And when I came to look, um, the same... And same, the same thing, uh, he was there again, so uh, I called the police again, and again they said that they couldn't do anything unless it, it was an immediate an immediate threat. So tonight, um, It's nearly one o'clock now, and um, for the last two nights he's come at around one o'clock, so I'm going to film. 
I'm going to try to um, get some evidence on film. That's it. Fuck, he's here. Yeah. Fuck. Call the fucking police. Call the fucking police. Oh, fuck. Battery there. Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. My phone's died. Fuck. Oh, it's dead. checking out my last entry and um, your responses um, but Jem I really don't think I can take that video to the police because they're not going to be able to do very much with it it was just a picture of a shadow outside my door um, they said they would need evidence which I think is like either you know like is hardcore evidence so um, that's not going to work but it was it was weird, and um, I mean I I only looked away for a second when I opened the door and he was gone, so um, that freaked me out. But it's um, obviously just some little wanker taking a piss, knowing that there's a young girl living here by herself. I don't know. Um, and the boys, um, Ian and Pete. I really didn't appreciate the comments you left about it. Um, it's not funny, and I have been quite 
upset about it, so don't take the piss. Um, I'm Div. Um, I don't know why I haven't been able to get through on my mobile. I've not got any of your messages, so I've emailed you my landline number. So try me on that. I'm in tonight. Um, and uh, Lizzie, um, thank you for pissing off just as I arrive in London. I know you're here my first week, but um, I really missed you this last week. So uh, um, if you see this, give give me a ring. Um, I hope your training's going well in Cardiff, and you're learning lots about marketing. Um, yeah, Lizzie's gone off to do a trip. So, I look forward to seeing you. Uh, apart from that, I've just been chilling in the house and I've been going on Monster a lot. I've been trying to get interviews for, uh, for jobs. And I've got one for next Friday for Holmes Place Gym in town. Uh, it'll be a bit like what I was doing at Fitness back home but it's um, more responsibility, like when I'd get to do the night shifts at fitness, I'd lock up and lock away the cash, do cash up and things like that, and it'll be more of those, so be a better position, and that's next Friday, so I'm looking forward to that, and uh, oh, it's the gym that Daniel Craig used to train at before he was private uh, personal trained for James Bond. So I don't know if he still uses it, but that's exciting. And um, what else? Um, yeah, I just want you all to come and visit me still. So unless you're too scared, uh, I'll hopefully see you soon. Okay, guys, um, keep in touch. Bye. Um, I just wanted to um, show you what I found this morning. It's um, a coin. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, I found it on the floor at the foot of my bed. I don't think you can see it here. It's too dark. I'm going to show you in the light. Okay, so I found it down here. And I think it must have belonged to the people who lived here before. It's a one penny. And it's from Victorian times. That's Victoria de Grabrita Regina Fidefin Blum. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, but it says 1900 on it. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. Um, there, there you go. 1900. Let me see. Can't get it to focus. There. Anyway, it's um, mine now. Ooh, it's like a magic trick. Can I see it? No, I don't. So basically, that's all I wanted to show you, because um, I'm proud of my um, my find. And, um, oh, my eye just twitched on camera. Did you see that? No, not doing it anymore. Okay, that's it. Bye! Hi guys, it's me, Lou, in my bedroom. Um, I just wanted to show you something weird. Um... I've been noticing that when I get up in the morning, this side of my bed, it's a lot colder than when I get up that side. So when I get up over there, it's like normal, fine. When I get up over here, always a little bit, a lot colder. So um, I basically thought it was my heating. So I ring PowerGen and um, they send me a thermometer. So it shows over here, it's like nine degrees. And then you come over the other side of my bed. And it disappears because it's going up and it's already showing 15 and it goes up to 21 over here so 15 is a warning Yeah, you can just start seeing 18. Sorry, it's a bit boring this bit, but... Okay, here you go. There's 18. Which is ideal, by the way. Uh, 
and it goes up to 21. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back over here. Radiators are on. I'm going to put it back down on there. And um, I just really think it's weird. Like that. So, I'm going to have a look again. And yeah, it goes all crazy when I bring it into this cold spot. Look, see? And straight back down to nine. Too cold. <laughs> there you go. Back to nine. So, um, <clears throat> if anyone has any ideas on why my bed is cold on the right hand side and not on the left and if you can let me know um, that'd be great um, but I'm going to go back over there now because I'm getting a bit chilly <laughs> I'll speak to you soon ok bye 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 <laughs> I've been waiting here a little bit and um, nothing's uh, shown up. So um, 
put a new tape in and I'm gonna go back to bed. Um, I'm gonna leave the camera running and we'll see what we get in the morning. Um, okay, so it's Tuesday night, um, last night I was woken up again by the noises outside of my bedroom window, and, uh, I came through and there was nothing outside, so I set the video up in the window to record, um, a, uh, anything in case um, that guy came back again. Um, I watched it this morning and there was nothing on on the tape. So um, I'm going to stay up tonight and I'm going to uh, watch for myself and um, see if I can get a clear shot of him. Um, so that I have something to show to the police. And that's what I'm doing now. So, um, I'll probably see you in a little while. Um, okay, so I'm sat, still waiting in the lounge, um, and I've been really bored, so I've been watching that tape back again uh, of last night, and I think I've found, um, a moment when the camera moves, um, I mean, it could just be, a, there's a main road over there, so it could be a lorry, but it, I don't know, I thought I'd show you anyway, so, I'll, um, so the TV comes across, it's a bit weird, that's all, um, okay, play, so, i move in, and you'll be able to see it closer, right, so, watching, there! There, do you see that? I'll, I'll stop it and re rewind it. Um, okay, there's the remote control. Um, where do I put it? I just found a shoe. Look. Just found a child's shoe in um under my sofa. Can you see that? That's so weird. Um what the hell is that? There's a name in it. Amy. A little girl's shoe. <laughs> so odd. That must have been under there all the time I've been living here. How weird. Unless it was in the removal van and got stuck under my sofa. Okay, um, anyway, uh, where's the remote? Um, right, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post that thing, the, um, the moving thing, and it's getting late now, I'm going to just, um, take up my back here, because I don't want to be seen by this weirdo. Okay. i pull this curtain across a bit, and I get behind this one, and Wanker's not going to see me. thing to do though. 
to a young girl living by herself. Like, obviously they think it's funny. Just hanging out and being divvies. It wasn't part of the plan, moving to London and getting a stalker. Really out of order. Such an idiot. closed before. I closed that door. I'm sure that door was closed. Oh my god. I didn't hear anything. I didn't, I didn't hear the door open. Oh, you're just freaking yourself out now, Louise. Shut, shut up. It's fine. Stupid door that doesn't close properly. <sighs> Hi everyone. Um, I am. Um, it's seven o'clock. I didn't go to sleep last night. Um, and I didn't get anything on tape because uh, nothing happened. Uh, he didn't come again. So I'm just finishing my 15th cup of coffee and I'm going to try and get some sleep. Um, I'll post the tape of the movement thing that I was trying to show you last night and I'll check later to see what you think. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, have a nice day. Bye. <clears throat> Hi guys, um, it's me. Uh, I've just um, had a phone call from the gym that I've got the interview at. Should have had the interview at uh, next Friday. Um, they've postponed it. They didn't give me a reason why, but um, they said that I'll have to ring up again on Monday and speak to another manager to rearrange the interview for the following week. So it should be sometime the week after this week. Um, but they didn't confirm it. I'm a bit gutted, really. I um, was really looking forward to getting started. But, um, yeah, I'm getting a bit itchy, <laughs> really, um, being here on my own. Lizzie's still not back yet, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so I'd love it if some or all of you want to come down and visit me, um, otherwise just an email would be nice. Um, I haven't heard from you in a while, I'm starting to think you don't like me anymore, so um, get in touch soon and um, love to everyone, okay, bye guys. Hi JD, um, it's Louise here, um, um, just responding to your um, reply, your email that you sent me, um, to about my um, video that I posted, uh, the movement tape, um, and also to thank you for your version of my tape.
I also um I also logged into the two web links that you sent me to and um, I read up about um, the orbs and um, I read the two sides to the argument um, but I think I'm going to go with um, the idea that it might just be dust. Um, it does look weird, slowed down, um, as in your version, but um, I also found um, some sites which say it could be moisture particles in the air or pollen. Um, so um, it's the beginning of summer now and um, I don't, I don't know, I think um, it was probably just a piece of dust, but thank you again for watching my tapes and also for um, for bothering to reply. So um, thanks a lot and take care. Okay, bye. Alright guys, um, it's Friday. <clears throat> um, just about to go outside to do some gardening and I found this on my window. It's a handprint. Made of mud. So them and um and against it. It's the fingers. It's big. Really big. So I was coming up here. Covered. The windowsill's covered in mud. And there's um, the hand. You can see the mud. And, uh, I don't know why. Why it's muddy. When I cleaned these windows two days ago, I cleaned them on Tuesday and they were spotless. So, either he's been back and um, it's got to have happened since Tuesday. Um, I haven't heard anything, I haven't been anywhere, I've been here all week. Or someone's just trying to fuck with me. But I'm gonna um I'm gonna clean it off and Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it off. Okay. Speak to you in a bit. Um Um, basically, I've um, dug out my sleeping bag and um, you're all going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> um, 
I've been woken up again the last two nights with the noises outside my bedroom window and um, um, by the time I've got to the window whatever was there is gone so I'm um, gonna set up camp in the lounge and I'm gonna stay up again and um, I'm going to catch whatever <clears throat> is going on um, he's obviously coming back um, um, I've just got to get a clear shot of him uh, I can't sleep anyway so I'm gonna um, um, I'll let you know what uh, happens in a bit mm. Close that door. Right now. Gotta go back through. The mobile's in there.
Come on, babe. Come on. Shit. You can't stay in here forever. I can't. I can't stay. I didn't close the door, 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 I didn't close the door. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shh. 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 Shh.
Yes, if I would made it. Um, it's me, you. I've, um, um, still in the lounge. Um, the door's still locked. Um, barricaded, I mean, by the chair. Um, I've watched the tape back of what happened earlier in my room and you can see it on the tape but not as well as what happened when I was in there um, there's a moment on the tape where you can see the bed moves before I leave the bedroom um, but it doesn't show it as it happened when I was in there um, there was, there was, it felt like there was somebody else in the room with me and um, somebody got up off the bed and uh, stood up in the room. I also found um, this in the room. I found um, this wallet and uh, this is what was inside the wallet. We've got um, a driver's license. Um, I'll show you. We have a driver's license of somebody called Margaret Watts. Um, We also have a, a checkbook. It's all pretty old and battered, and um, this checkbook is also made out to a J Watts. And um, the receipts in the book show that it's been used as far back as um, as far back as 1993. We've got. Payments going out for electricity, um, gas, rent, 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 
electricity. Telephone um, goes up to um, We've also got receipts. Um, there's a plaster in there. Um, there's a little bit of money. It's um, the old 10p, I think. 50p. Uh, there was um, this cutting from a magazine which uh, is um, of a place called Bel Air House, which is a Grade 1 listed Georgian building in Dulwich. With an 18th century spiral staircase. That's that. Um, there's also, uh, in the wallet, we've got a photograph of a family. I've never seen these people before. I don't recognise any of them. It looks like a grand grandparents, um, possibly a couple, two children, and there's a, there's a blonde woman in there as well. Um, and there's a donor card in here. Um, and there's all this dirt. like on my bed. Uh, I've never seen this wallet before and I've never met a woman called Margaret Watts before either. And this stuff was not in my house when I moved in here. Um, I'm just uh, wanting to record this uh, because I'm, um, I got the number for um, Margaret Watts, um, the owner of the wallet, um, from directory inquiries I rang them, um, I gave them the name what's and the uh, address from the driver's license and I have a, a landline um, number so I'm going to call that now um, and uh, put it on speakerphone hopefully I'll be able to um Oh, hello. Um, is there, um, is uh, Margaret Watts there, please? May I ask who's calling? Yeah, I just, I found, um, Margaret Watts's wallet. What? I've, um... What do you mean you found? Is this some kind of joke? No, um, right. no, I've, I found her wallet with her driver's license and um, uh, cards and bank bank book and um, basically I rang directory inquiries and I got your number from them. So I'm just letting... Oh. No, you, you've, you've got it wrong. It must be, it must be somebody else. Um... I have her driver's license? And there's a photograph in the wallet, 
um, of a, a family and um, some children in, in the photo and there's a lady with blonde blonde hair and that and um, the bank book uh, is um, uh, is made out to two people. There's a J Watts. Are you are you J? Yes, I am. Look, I don't know who you are or what you want. Um, I just I found. Um, my wife disappeared ten years ago. I I really I don't know what to say. Um, I'm sorry sorry to uh, hear that. Where are you? I'm, um... Where are you speaking from? Have you ever lived in a, in a flat in South London? I, I live in South London. Where in South London? I mean, you just ring me like this... Uh, after ten years, I just don't know what to say. I'm sorry, um, I don't mean to cause any um, harm. I'm not, um... Do you know anything about my wife? No, I've... Well, you've got her wallet, so you're telling me. I mean, I don't understand. It must have got there somehow. I, j I found are. it, um, I found it in my flat. In your flat? Have you ever lived in a, in a flat in South, South London or had friends or... Yeah. I don't know why it was here, it, it just appeared. Here. It, um, I've just found it. I just moved in and, um, I found... I think, all, I think we ought to meet. Um, the police gave up looking for her years ago. Um, could I have some contact details, please? Look, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I rang you and brought all this back up for you. I don't know anything about your wife, and no, I've no, never no. met her. And I, um, I, I've, um, you take me quite by surprise. This is wrong. This is really bad. This is really bad. Um, Hey guys, um, it's me, uh, I, um, I just got up about ten minutes ago, and I went, um, I'm just gonna show you, okay, um, came through here and the latch on the door is unlocked, this is, um, unlocked and um, the keys have gone from my door. I always lock this door every night before I go to bed. And um, it's, it's unlocked. So um, this is where I found the key down here. It's my house key. And here's the key, it's covered in mud. You see that? And at the top there as well, it's covered. I don't know why. My key has got mud on it. <laughs> Fuck. But it fits.
feels really weird. Really cold. Oh my god. He's moving. <laughs> Brought the things in, which I found, and uh, I've written some questions. I'm going to record the questions and play it back. See if I can hear hear whatever it is. Is there anybody there? Who are you? Are you Margaret Watts? What do you want? What do you want? So I got an email today from um, from the there's a uh, of a picture from 
the video I took of um, the night. I'll show you. It was from the video I took the night that it was at my door, and I went um, went to the door and I opened um, I opened it and it disappeared and. As I was coming back in, this was um, caught on the camera, and it's um, it's a hand in my window. That's my lounge window, and this is um, there's a thumb, and um, there are fingers. And um, there was um, there was nobody. There was there was nobody in my in my house that night, and um. um I've um I've packed a bag and um I can't stay here anymore. It's too much. And um Helen was meant to be here today and she um she fell down her stairs last night and twisted her ankle. <laughs> her she's lucky she didn't break her neck. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, hide, hide somewhere, hide somewhere. Oh my god, that door was closed.
my alien. Look, can you see his tail? No. There we go. There, there, there. Um, Please don't. Please. <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. <Hello. laughs> Wave at the camera. Hi. You're black and white through this viewfinder. No, not on that one. That little screen is what you're looking at. That's colour, right? Yeah. You're black and white. Oh, yeah. Hello. Now nah, you're colour. <laughs> you're black and white through the little one. Um, okay, so, um, uh, it's zoomed in again. You look pretty, Lizzie. Good. Maybe you should stop filming me and film and, and we, you know. Um, did you, uh, do you like my fish tank? I, lo I love your fish tank, actually. Fish tank is amazing. You don't like being on camera, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to look at the fish. They're beautiful. You've then, got more than before. Yeah. This they, one's new. Yeah. I got them from Who's the pet shop. You? There's a pet shop around the corner which is um And that one's bigger than really... one I saw him last. A pet shop around the corner? Yeah, I went again. Yeah. The one which I went did you did I go already in the first week when you were oh. Oh. <laughs> Um anyway, I um I went uh twice and ended up um more buying fish. yeah. Yeah, I couldn't leave them. No. They were too cute. Well, you've got two tanks. And they keep them in really small boxes. Do they? It's horrible. I know that's the way they get people to buy more. <laughs> but I couldn't leave them. They're too it's cute. Not right. It's not right. Don't you think they look happy in they there? They It's a nice place. I mean, it's nice. I know. It's better than the other ones we looked at, isn't it? Yeah. Um, space. I love the garden. Yeah. Um, do you think they look happy in there? Yeah, I think it's too small. I know, I cleaned it. It's a new fish tank. Yeah, you're alright, love. Yeah. I lost my necklace. My turquoise necklace. Lost it. Mm-hmm. My favourite one. Last night. It's weird, I don't know where it is. I looked everywhere. Um, but I... Um, uh, it's fine, I'll get another one. Yeah. And um, they took my jacket. Uh, in the corridor, my jacket was on me. Um. Do you remember my granny's house? Yeah. Have you seen my unit over there? Oh, my... God, look, yeah. look, let's zoom in. <laughs> Noddy's in oh, there too. Lovely. Do you I not remember? remember? No, I do. Wasn't that, I remember the time when we were at my granny's? And I remember we weren't allowed to take them out because we thought we'd break them. Yeah, you did break them though. You yeah, but you didn't it. tell her, did you? No, she fixed it and thought it was me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Sorry. Do you want to play the GameCube? <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. Uh, no. I want to get paid. Okay, let's do that. That's... <laughs> okay, so um, let's, uh, it's not really changing anything, is it? Here we go. Um, okay, so let's talk to everyone. Let's do a little blog. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. I'm Lizzie. This is Lizzie. You know this. Yep. Um, we're getting drunk. Yes. <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Thank God. Yeah. Um, and, uh, cheers. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Good nose. <laughs> mm. I forgot you were a wine taster. <laughs> Just a spit out now. <laughs> oh, Louise. <laughs> Did I get you? No. Did you want to? Yes. Uh, mm, mm. Okay, so um, what are we going to do over the next week? Stop Is filming. It? No, what are we going to do? We're telling everybody what we're going to do. We are going to Yeah, we Norwich culture. idiots who haven't come to see me. Yeah, where are you guys? Um, <laughs> the Tate. We're going to the Tate. My arm's ah. getting really sore. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. If I just... I use the bananas. Oh, coming. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, oh, do you... Really... No. <clears throat> 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what does that remind you of? Oh, uh, not funny. Uh, Lizzie still has a boyfriend, everybody. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go to, to the tape, yeah, and then and then to uh, where do you want to go? The Heath. You want to go to the Heath? Camps of Heath. Okay. I like Camps of Heath. Lizzie, um, oh, Lizzie in North London. Yeah. Why did North you help me find cool. a place in South London? Because I wanted you to be as far away as possible. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, it's cheaper here. Uh, okay. Okay. Cheers. cheers. Hey. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go and um, and have um, drinks on mm. the Heath. Cigarettes. Like, we still remember 15. Hey, you can smoke. I, I don't smoke anymore. Well. Oh, don't you? Oh, okay. Healthy. Really. Yeah, neither do I really. You should come running with me. Oh, God. I'm going to take Lizzie running. No way. Great. No way. No. Brilliant. No. Yeah. No. Camera off now, camera off. Yeah. Please. Okay, I feel a bit sick. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, we'll deal with that. <laughs> Is that off? Um, it's a little red button. Okay. Back. Mm -hmm. Um, there. Okay. So, time is now 11.32. And you're asleep. You have been for a bit. So, I've just got your camera, Louise. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to try and take a look around the house and see if I can get myself. Hang on. Let's see if I can. Yay! I'm just going to have a little look around and, and uh, check that things are cool because I know you've been a bit. Worried about stuff. So. Okay. Oh. So far, so good. Right. So I'm just going to take a little walk around and check things out. See if we can get us a whole thing. Design. That's the light. Check a look in your room. See what's going on in here. Okay, so I'm just going into your room. And here we are. All good. Nice and quiet. I remember that bed spread. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know what it is, either you've got a bad electrics or you've got some kid mucking about, I don't know, but it's all looking good from here. <laughs> you'll be able to have enough light bulbs <laughs> to last for many, many years, and a torch. Which could come in handy. Hmm. Batteries for that then. Okay. A nice quiet house. We're looking for a little look outside. And all is well. So I hope that's going to stop you worrying. I sleep well. What's the noise, Lizzie? Lizzie, did you hear it? Yeah, I did. All right, that's kids. I'm going to get out there. Uh. Okay, I can't open the door, Louise. How do you get the door open? The key's in the door. No. Keys are in the door. No, they're not in the door. There's no keys in the door. What? Where are the keys? They're in the door. Yeah, well, I don't worry. There's just no key. You must have put them somewhere else. 
Oh my god! <laughs> 